Welcome to my channel, Shavers and Shavettes. I hope you're all well. Today, I have another installment in the Trash to Lather series. If you're new to the channel or just haven't seen one yet, this is where I take a look at shave soap that I buy from junk shops or antique malls, flea markets. Um, I think some of you who don't live in the United States might also call this type of area a boot sale or a charity shop. I think those two would also apply. But anyway, they usually only cost me a dollar or two, but I show you my experience, tell you what I think. Before we get into that though, as always, the gear. You just saw today's brush and Erskine model K200 that I re-knotted with a very nice, very large silver tip badger. The razor for today is Amerker 36, a vintage slant. If you've been in the wet shaving community for a while, you may remember these popping up on eBay many years ago. I can't remember off the top of my head now if the seller was in the community or if somebody just found that a lot of these were available for very cheap. I think they were only selling for about $20. Um, but some of the members did some research, found some marketing material I'll show you here. We were able to pin these down to somewhere around the mid 50s to early 60s for manufacture. And according to Mercur, they are silver plated, short, screw connection, slant. So interesting little piece of Mercur history here. And the star of today's show in this grimy wooden bowl is Cashmere Bouquet by Colgate Palmolive Heat. So yeah, I need to do some work to uh, restore this bowl a little bit. The outside, as you can see here, has quite a bit of surface staining, some water stains. The inside of the bowl is just fine, though. I need to do a little work on the outside. The soap itself, there we go, has just a very slight pink tint. In it. I don't know if that's going to come through on your screen or not, but the soap in real life is just the tiniest bit pink. And to my nose, it still smells like it has just a little bit of that floral scent remaining. And it's just light enough to where I'm not 100% if the scent is truly there or if it's just my mind knowing what cashmere bouquet is supposed to smell like, kind of filling in the blanks expecting to get that scent. But it is very, very mild, just a little bit of floral left. As I get my brush loaded here, we'll talk a little bit about the history of Cashmere Bouquet. It has been around for an extremely long time, owned by Colgate for its entire life, all the various names that Colgate has gone through. But the Cashmere Bouquet scent has been used in regular soaps, the shaving soap as we have here today, of course. Um, but also talcs and perfumes, so a very popular scent, at least in the United States. The Cashmere Bouquet Toilet Soap was apparently the first triple milled toilet soap. It was introduced in 1872. At that time, it was just Colgate Palmolive. But it, as far as the soap is concerned, it was continued to be made by Colgate in the United States up until 2005 when they, I think that was a plant in Kansas. But the plant got shut down and then production got moved overseas. The shave soap though, is a little bit of a mystery. Even now, when I first decided that it was time to bring the cashmere bouquet into the rotation here, I was a little excited. I thought, boy, there's going to be all kinds of information on this. Just the Cashmere Bouquet name is extremely well documented through the history of the United States. Not so much. The shave soap was a mystery and even when it was released is kind of confusing. I found an article in the drug and chemist industry magazine, I think maybe publication. I don't know. We'll take a look at it at the uh, clip. Here, this was from 1936, volume 39, which I believe was in December. Within this clip of Shaving Fashions and Futures, it says, Now Colgate, pioneer soap maker and one of the first in the shaving soap field, is introducing a cashmere bouquet shaving bowl to retail at 85 cents. And then it goes on to say some more. But a couple of things worth pointing out. I think first off that retail price of 85 cents sign me up and second the words that were used that Colgate is introducing a cashmere bouquet soap to me makes it sound like 
this is the first time that there has been a cashmere bouquet shave soap. I don't know if it's just the packaging, the bowl that was brand new at the time. I don't know what would have been revolutionary about that, though. We have documentation of shave bowls well before then. Uh, but in 1936, and again, I think this article was from the December issue, that would tell me that it was released for the first time very late 1936 or perhaps even early 1937. However, if we go across the world to Australia, we're going to take a look at Australian Women's Weekly. Again, they showed up in the toggle video. Very interesting that I'm finding so much history from the Australian Women's Weekly. This comes from the week of November 17th, 1934. We see a nice full-page ad for Dave Jones's in Fett. Looks like a very fancy place indeed. But hidden down there in the bottom right, let's take a look at what we see. And it is an ad specifically for Colgate's Cashmere Bouquet Shave Soap. In the ad, it says, Colgate's famous quality cashmere bouquet shave soap contained in a handsome Bakelite bowl that will keep for refilling. Isn't this just the Christmas gift you'd like to give to your man folk? Interesting. It's got the price listed as, I don't know exactly what this is, 26 cents or something. If you know, let me know what that is supposed to mean. But down at the very bottom, it says made exclusively by David Jones, not made for David Jones, by David Jones. So either this David Jones character was bootlegging cashmere bouquet shave soap, or I don't know, maybe it was, maybe David Jones made the ad. Maybe he was a accomplished graphic design artist as well as an entrepreneur. But here we are almost exactly two years before the 1936 article in drug and chemist industry already talking about a well-established famous stature of the cashmere bouquet shave soap perhaps it was released in australia first it seems a little odd for an american company to be doing that but i suppose it's not impossible 1936 may have been the first time it was available in the united states so I don't know. After all of that, I am not quite sure what to say at the release date. I'm just going to say is sometime early to mid 30s. I could be way off on that. The first mention of it, though, that I was able to find anywhere in the world was 1934. So that image, though, being in the handsome Bakelite bowl doesn't really help me to date my bowl of cashmere bouquet. So I'm not quite sure what to say on this specific example. The last reference that I could find for the cashmere bouquet specific to the shave soap didn't come too much later after the first two. This one comes from Greenbelt, Maryland from the famous Greenbelt operator in 1939. This is an ad for a drugstore of some sort having a toiletry sale. We see various Colgate and Palmolive products, including cashmere bouquet soap, cashmere bouquet calc, and the cashmere bouquet shave bowl. Unfortunately, no pictures available for the bowl. So I don't know what this would have looked like if it was the wooden version or something different that we haven't seen yet. But again, no help whatsoever in dating my bowl of cashmere bouquet. So what does this tell us? Well, not a whole lot, unfortunately. The time frame that I found any reference to cashmere bouquet as a shave soap was in between the examples that I gave you. There are a few other text examples, a few other mentions. Oddly enough, a lot of what looked like receipts for city governments, things like that, which include a lot of cashmere bouquet shave bowls. Somewhere between 1934 and 1939 is everything that I saw on the cashmere bouquet shave bowl. I don't know for sure though, if that is an accurate representation of the lifetime of the soap, or if that just happens to be the information that is surviving today. So a little disappointing that I wasn't able to find very much information. I thought for sure 
this one would have all kinds of details but uh oh well all that information is fine and well but when it comes down to it what's the performance like so the cashmere bouquet shave soap as you can see right now and saw a little bit throughout the video was i wasn't blocking your view with ads is it performs very nicely i would stack up the performance of cashmere bouquet against any vintage soap and probably against any modern soap as well that goes for hard triple milled soaps all the way down to the softest oiliest artisan soaps for me for my preferences it doesn't get much better than this i don't really make a big fuss out of the moisturizing properties of a shave soap for me that's not its job. If a shave soap gives me a good shave, but leaves my skin a little dry, I'm okay with that. I got balms and splashes and different things to help combat that when that's the case. On my face, it goes the other way too with some of the super fatted soaps. It leaves me feeling a little too heavy, like I have a layer of oil remaining on my face after the shave. Ultimately, though, in my case, I shave before I shower, so no matter what happens, I'm getting in and washing my face after the shave anyway, so kind of start with a fresh slate there. But the cashmere bouquet is really, it hits that perfect spot for me. Obviously, everybody is going to have a different opinion on what they like, and that's just fine. But it doesn't dry me out whatsoever. It actually does leave my face feeling like I've put on a very light moisturizer. Not heavy at all, not at all dry. If you find cashmere bouquet though, keep in mind everybody's a little different. It might react differently to your skin and it just might not fall where your preferences are. But for my money, I think this is the finest soap that I've found vintage. Whether I found it in the junk shops for just a couple of dollars, whether it's somebody who has given me some shave soap that they would uh, that they wanted me to have, or again modern hard triple mill soaps. If I were to find cashmere bouquet again, I would absolutely buy it. I would even pay more than the couple of dollars that I bought this one for. Uh, but yeah, if you come across cashmere bouquet, I think it's a safe bet. If you find it within a price range that you are comfortable with and anytime that I make a shaving purchase and whenever I talk to others about making shaving purchases assume you're not going to like it are you willing to part with that much money there's your answer if you should try it or not so if you find cashmere bouquet at a dollar amount that you are willing to part with in case you don't like it I definitely recommend picking up some cashmere bouquet so I have just finished my shave splashing off all the little bit of lather left so we will start to bring the video to an end as well i would like to know have you used cashmere bouquet have you seen it available anywhere i don't look on ebay a whole lot for different things so i don't know if it is available there or how often it is but let me know what you think have you tried it out what were your opinions and what kind of scent was remaining in the puck that you found i'm very interested if that's Truly a little bit of floral remaining, or if it's just my opinion. With that though, as always, I want to thank you so much for spending some of your time with me here today in this video. I truly, truly do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of your day.